Pinky! Uh... My name is Cotton. And my name is Julius, but what can you do, huh? What? I have some new weapons for you. You make weapons? I am what they call multi-talented. Alright, well, let's see what you got then. Well, let's start off with something a little bit simple. Alright, Julius, yeah, yeah, I see what you're doing here, except this is a fucking fish! How am I supposed to do damage with a fish? Well, it's cooked, so it's fresh, too. Alright, you could probably burn things with it. I could burn things with it? Like, first degree? Really? Take out the next one. Oh. Good, there's more. See, it's pretty good, huh? Julius. Pinky! It's cotton, and these are lobsters! Big lobsters. Julius, how? What about the claws? Okay, I mean, I, I guess it is at least physically possible with these. Y yes. Next! Oh, for fuck's sake! I worked on these for hours. You asshole! No, I'm a cat. And these are roast fucking chickens! Well, I put a lot of herbs and spices on them. That doesn't help. Actually, how am I even supposed to wield these, Julius? I think you know that, Cotton. I don't think I do know that. I don't want to use your weapons anymore. Hello, my fellow hunters. Today, a legendary fable is made real. The Kelby's Lord God and Master shall walk amongst us, as well as just the best new character you will ever see for two huge reasons. And well, I'll just, I'll just let you get on with it. It's a good one. Mods! Oh. Noodle legs and a fucking broken neck! Oh! You're so cute. Weird! Hello, Papa! <laughs> There's so little pink in the world. Nothing's going right. All of the monsters have so much fur and I want to hug it, but I can't because they'll kill me. Nothing going well. Stand up! Ah! Nature is angry! And the most legendary creature of all time has come out to play. Is it nature? It's nature, yes. We're gonna fight the nature drone. <laughs> well, nature's angry. So nature I can believe it. Nature is angry. Now, what would you say if I told you this was the best mod ever made? Uh, I would be a little bit apprehensive. <laughs> what would you do if I said, ah! Ah! <laughs> Alright, I'm glad we could <laughs> Good exchange. <laughs> oh my god. Behold the ultimate creation. It's a Kelby. Behold. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I wasn't this ready for that. Truly is the Kelby drone. What's with the ears? What you, that's what you question. It's got fucking noodle legs and a fucking broken neck. And your first question is, what's with the? Oh, what is with the ears? Looks about ten times more like a fucked up giraffe than a Kelby drum. It does look like a fucked up giraffe. <laughs> I love the idea of fucking attributing lesson abilities to a Kelby drone. Right? That's really cool. Look at that! And look, there's a little, like, health potion splash yeah. green, like, the growth of the roots. That's yeah, like, so this, this awesome. This is really, really neat. <laughs> Ow! Oh! God damn! Please, for fuck's sake, fix the model! No, it's fine, man! This is how the Kelby drone be! The legs! <laughs> They're so bendy! Hey, Cotton, what's a good reason to go to therapy? You don't know, there's plenty of reasons to go to therapy. Like to see a therapist? Well, yeah. Or just like, if you like looking at offices. I thought you were going to say if you like looking at therapists. <laughs> if you like looking at therapists. <laughs> you know, I have a bit of a strange habit. That, that's what you said, because you said you would go there to see a therapist. <laughs> some people like train spotting, some people like bird watching. I like to go stare at therapists. Yeah, you like to go see a therapist. Yeah, literally see a therapist. I just sit there and I observe. <laughs> Nobody thinks it's weird. It's fantastic. Whenever someone asks me what I'm doing, I'm saying, I'm going to see a therapist. Now, this might be cliche, but it's very therapeutic. <laughs> How are you doing, Grandfather McGonagall? <laughs> okay. No, that's a really weird sound also, to me. Grandfather McGonagall? Sounds like a really weird fucking fan character. No, it sounds like J.K. Rowling tweeted that McGonagall was a man the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me go. You know, this thing would be extremely top-heavy. I want you to know that. Thank you. I'm glad you've analyzed the relative balancing capabilities of the Kelby drone. No problem! Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, fuck! Oh, oh my awesome. God! Oh, the legs when it's down! Oh, the fucking roar it just did! Ooh. Oh no! 
I think I just saw the location of the souls of the damned. Oh, that was that was a paw. That was a paw edging attempt for me. Oh god, the world is Kill growing. Kill me! Kill me! Oh god, the world is growing! Oh! Don't do anything! I wanna see its legs when it's asleep. <laughs> oh my god, look at the back! Look, it's fucking oh twisted! Oh! oh my gosh. It's a loop! Oh. Nobody's legs should form a oh. loop! Oh, it's oh, just like it's a fucking. It's like a little off. fucking piece of spaghetti that someone put fur on! Why would you put fur on spaghetti? Sadness! He looks way too peaceful for something with furry spaghetti as part of its anatomy! <laughs> Oh god! Oh fuck! Thanks. I fucked it. Thanks, man. Thanks. Appreciate Look, that. Really. I was quality, trying to do something quality, cool, and I fucked it up. Work. You're the yep. one making me use yep. weird weapons. Yep. Hammer is weird as weird as everything. Is this just not all you wanted and more from the world of modding? A Kelby in its full evolved form, horns splendorous and roots gnarly. It, it just, it's amazing. It's ridiculous, it's silly, it's bendy and it's broken, but it's also badass fun and just plain awesome. And this is what mods be. This is what mods are for. This is the essence. It is the perfect blend of stupid and badass to give you an experience you otherwise never would have in Monster Hunter. Hats off to you, Azuka. I just adore it. And also, using the roots and the potion effect and everything, look, it's really well made. It's just, it, it's, it's just, it's the mod. It's the mod. It's the mod. Cotton, is that another one? What can I say? Cotton, you've rescued four dodo gammas today alone. You're gonna wear yourself out at this rate. As long as there are good boys in need of a home, I will never rest. Well, in that case, we can't keep the fully grown monsters in captivity for too long. It would destabilize the ecosystem, of course. Of course. Of course, of course. However, the Elder's Recess is an undeniably dangerous place. Undeniably so, yes. And this Dodo Gamma was pregnant when she arrived. She? She. Wait, was? Was. Hello, Papa. God! <laughs>
Makes me imagine a water Lunastra with coral bits growing off her face and it would look awesome! That is pretty cool, actually. That's not bad. <laughs> oh, it's just so messed up! <laughs> so yeah, we decided that we needed a Lunastra without a face that is also pearlescent by Miralis. I don't know why we needed this, but I'm glad we have it. I'm glad I experienced it, but now I never want to experience it again. So thank you and goodbye. You're so cute. The plot thickens, thanks to Zed Statey KZ, Camilla from Fire Emblem, and this just looks amazing. It is by far the best done character insert I've seen. It is incredibly high fidelity, and yeah, I think we're all better for having experienced this. <laughs> the die has an effect on one armor piece. Can you guess which one it is and what part it affects? <laughs> 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 Scanning. <laughs> is it the gloves? No. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, follow me and my huge axe to battle. All right, Mr. Master Wind Blast. Last. Mr. Master Wind Blaster. Master Wind Blaster. <laughs> Yo, I'm controller of the Master Wind Blaster. I'm gonna go. <laughs> That's, that's his rap name. <laughs> that is his rap name. Are you ready for this? Because as soon as we touch him, there is no more input from us for the rest of the story. Sorry, what? Why? <laughs> your hair is not flowing in the wind and so you can answer the question. I'm so sorry. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> What's he doing? Enjoy literally never moving again. <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> If you come over, if you can put on rock steady, if you can manage that, there's like six tornadoes over here. If I can manage that, what do you I mean, take it, me for? I mean, oh, it, took, oh. it took me a while. Just give me a few minutes. Oh God, fucking hell! Oh, it's all right. I'm here with you. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for I'll, your support. I'll, you know, so okay. look, you're good now. Okay. get to see and it's gorgeous yeah. as i love that his job oh, is shit. normal speed it just looks like such a little pathetic <laughs> every now and then oh my god all right sir get close enough to me and i will ride oh you. my god <laughs> This was a huge mistake! You disappeared from reality! Oh, there goes gravity! Oh, there goes gravity! What the hell just happened?! Where I are you? I, keep getting I feel like you just disconnected from him! That was not good! Oh god! Oh, how's uh, not having Rocksteady treating you? Ever wanted a Kushaladara moving at 10 times speed? Well, there you go. You've got it. And it actually has given me a different kind of appreciation. Well, maybe appreciation's the wrong word, but I do love it. And yeah, you got the axe going on with uh, the Camilla, which is really good. And if you want to know super-powered longswords, if you want to know them intimately, well, they are coming up via Mr. Inayalga, and they're quite explosive. Oh, oh no, Conan! No, oh, it looks back. awesome from down here, though. You should come down. I'm trying. I'm trying so hard. I literally can't he move. <laughs> oh! oh, come down. Look up. Look up. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. Right? Like, from here, that looks great. And you actually can't climb up, either. <laughs> that's what? That's... Wow! Right? I never thought they looked like that, but you never get the right angles on them. That is crazy! Look at that! It's like in the cliff! Yeah! Oh, he covered it up, the little bastard. <laughs> ah! I won! 
Run! <laughs> how do you how do you how do you iframe dodge something that slow? <laughs> he's just like, oh, he's just yawning. He's just you know he's had a long nap. Oh, careful with your lightning. I like. Look lightning. out! Ow! You had so much time! I was doing longsword things, which means I have to be a bad player. Look out! Oh! Ow! The fireballs <laughs> move at normal speed, can confirm! Yep. What yep. you just- You just fucking became Sonic! Come. Nice. Oh, I made an explosion! And then he fell over. <laughs> And that was entirely because of the explosion. <laughs> so this this long sword like super animations is called long sword inspiration. Okay, what's it inspiration for? Doing better because you get fancy animations. Oh yeah, that makes sense. It's like putting a hot dog on a treadmill. Yeah, it is. It's like putting a hot dog on a treadmill. <laughs> See, you know, you know what I meant, but what I said meant taken literally is just <laughs> a hot dog on a treadmill. <laughs> Literal hot dog. <laughs> On a fucking yeah, treadmill. it's it's like putting a hot dog on a treadmill. Inspiring. Now I'm just picture like an inspirational poster of just a hot dog on a treadmill, but just like one of those like don't let go. Fucking salute. <laughs> God damn. So there we are, everybody. A slow mo Rathalos trying his best to fly through the sky, and he's not doing the not doing a great job but i hope you enjoyed today's mod show let me know what you liked the most let me know if you had a good time like if you enjoyed subscribe for more hit the bell all of that good stuff and now to leave you here's what happens when you do a slow-mo rathalos mixed with a dragonator a good boy it's don't serious. do it <laughs> Please no! Don't do it! Where's my Dragonator? Where's his Dragonator? Ah, Look out! I gotta get away! <laughs> I gotta leave! I gotta... Rathian! Ow! Rathian, please, honey, come pick me up from the arena! <laughs> no, don't, no, don't bring the car, just, just take the bus. Oh, snap. Boom! <laughs> Rage gaming with the video float. But that's all that's really relevant at the mo. But I'm still gonna leave this up so you patrons know that I love you even though the outro's no longer that kind of relevant. But the new one's being worked on and it's gonna be a truly badass song. And don't worry, I won't be doing any rapping on it. I'm gonna go now. Uh, this was shit.